got fired for going to a funeral. Title says it all. On the 14th my grandmother passed away and naturally I went to her funeral. Told my supervisor I would be gone for the funeral as I had to travel out of state to attend. I was gone for a week and as I'm on my way to the airport to head home. My department manager texts and asks if I'm quitting. She tells me I've no call, no showed all week and thought that I was just never coming back. I tell her that no. I'm not quitting and where I've been. She gives me her condolences and says that we'll need to get everything straightened out when I come back. Well, she told me to come find her when I came in the next day so we can get it all figured out. Except she left before I even got there. Then let me work half my shift before telling another manager to fire me. Like what the hell dude? Not even the professional courtesy of doing it yourself or at least pretending to do what you were. Gonna said you'd do? Just stupid face with rolling eyes. Edit. For all those asking for more details. Here ya go. On the 14th, I got a call from my cousin that my grandmother had passed. It was very sudden, as she had been fine two months ago. But over the course of those two months, her liver rapidly started failing. I told my supervisor on the 17th that I was going to have to travel for the funeral as I was asked to be a pallbearer, and it was taking place out of state. My schedule was Tuesday-Saturday. I was going to be gone 18th-23rd, which was Sunday to Friday. I would have been missing four days of work. I was not asking for paid leave. Just time to go do my duty as a pallbearer and be with my family. My flight was coming back on Friday and I went to work the next day. Friday afternoon on my way to the airport, my department manager asked if I was quitting. I told her no, and she said she would get with me when I came in on Saturday to work out all the details of what had happened and what to do going forward. When I came in on Saturday, I was told that she had already left for the day two hours before I even arrived. She did not tell me this. I found it out from another associate. I then worked half my shift and was about to go to lunch when a manager brought me to the office and told me that I was being terminated. Hope that clears everything up. At first I read this as you getting fired after your 14th grandmother passed away. And I thought maybe they were right to ask some questions. But, yeah. This is either a disconnect between your superiors or someone was looking for a reason to get rid of you. Told my supervisor I would be gone for the funeral as I had to travel out of state to attend. I was gone for a week and as I'm on my way to the airport to head home. My department manager texts and asks if I'm quitting. How many days did you actually request off? Many companies don't offer a full week off for bereavement. Maybe a day or two. Sucks that they treated you this way. You probably got no call, no show on the fourth day. I'm guessing you didn't communicate you would be gone a week. They were probably thinking what I was thinking. Did you clearly communicate exactly how long you'd be gone? Travel probably two days. Even if flying. Funeral one day. One day for whatever. Did you need to be gone a week? If so, did you clearly communicate why? I know it's evil that you can't just be you in the midst of loss. But, just guessing on their point of view. Sounds like you didn't actually request time off and were unclear on how long you'd be gone. A funeral is one day. You were not transparent here. Speaking of professional courtesy, you were fired not for attending the funeral. You're being fired because you aren't an exploitable unicorn they can call and wish into existence on. Demand to bare bones, skeleton crew their store 24-7 for max profit. In short, you didn't do anything wrong. They just think they can find someone more profitable and they're giving that person your spot. IDK any company that gives a week off for a grandparent's passing. 
Not saying I agree with the company, but it kinda seems like it's on you up. Not only does the title not say it all, the body says even less. Our policy is three days bereavement and five days if it's out of town. Out of town requires some kind of verification. Nothing you posted makes sense and from your replies to that, I guess we can all assume you're the break and disconnect in the communication. Good luck on finding a new job, maybe next time though request PTO instead of just dipping? Just because you expect bereavement leave, doesn't mean you don't have to properly inform your employer. You didn't communicate effectively and because of you got fired. It's called at will employment. Silly goose. Maybe you forgot that fact? Don't get too comfy when you have at will employment. Hate to say it but you caused this you didn't give them the opportunity to even work with you to give you time off. This is not on their shoulders. It's your own fault. Sorry. There are so many options you could have taken some employers will allow FMLA leave for bereavement and even without that option that are still other protected means of bereavement leave that you could have asked for. You have to fill out the paperwork though. You are an adult. Time to communicate better. No one is obligated to try to read your mind. Sounds like there's more to this story than what you shared. But that's okay. You are here to get a good dose of victimhood. Seeing how you responded to people asking you normal questions. Did you specify how long you would be away? Did you submit this in writing? If it's in writing you most likely be able to collect unemployment. If your notifications were all verbal you may have a problem. Let me guess. You didn't officially request time off? Meaning, do you have documentation? Was it actually approved on paper? You don't get a week off for a funeral. This is on you. Couple days? Sure. But you didn't need a full week for this and you know it. Did the subreddit do a full 180 since I've last been here? Or? I actually worked with someone who got fired for excessive grandparent deaths. Of course. The idiot couldn't keep his stories straight. And killed off the same one three times in four months. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.